Hey guys, welcome back to another video. It finally happened. ED dropped the MI-24 Hind, and that's what we're going to look at today. We're just going to look at a quick little mission to show you guys how it functions pretty much, show you the basics, fire some ATGMs, that kind of stuff, just to get the ball rolling for you guys so you can have some fun. We'll pump out other videos on how to do different things with it a little bit later on. Also, in case you were unaware, ED also snuck in a quick little update for the Syria map. We now have Cyprus. So definitely check this out if you're the owner of the Syria map. It's a, a very nice addition. Uh, dramatically increases the size of the Syria map, so a lot more playable space. Definitely worth checking out. Alright guys, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Alright guys, so before we get started here, there's some controls you're going to need to bind. First of all, make sure you're in the MI24 AI menu, and then you're going to want to bind menu down, left, right, up, all that stuff. Okay, so go ahead and bind all of that. Okay, and under MI24P Sim, you want to go ahead and bind the show hide menu. This is your Petrovich menu, essentially. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started. Alright guys, so here we are in our hot start at MI24. We're going to go ahead and do a strike with some ATGMs. So the first thing we're going to do is have Petrovich start setting up the weapons. So I'm going to bring up the Petrovich menu. And you can see it's red, that means that the weapons are safe. And we're going to go ahead and tell him to start. So we're going to go Petrovich up long. And you see it goes yellow and in the upper right hand corner you can say you can see he's uh, turning on weapons right so we're gonna go ahead and hide that while we set up the hind so first thing we're gonna do is hide this seat you can do that by just clicking here and then we're gonna zoom in here we're gonna turn on the automatic ranging we're gonna turn on the sight so clicking that turns on the sight here and then we're going to get the fire control going technically you don't need this to fire ATGMs but you will need it for the 30 millimeter cannon, the rockets, and all the other stuff. Uh, you want the weapon selector here to be in the off or MSL position. And that's basically it for this. Um, next, we're going to move over here. We're going to put on the autopilots. So you can see yaw, roll, pitch, altitude. Uh, I'm going to put all those on. There we go. And we're going to turn off the nav lights. And we're going to come over here. This is the fan switch. We'll turn that on because are you even combat effective if you don't have a fan? And then the next thing we're gonna do is turn this off and the tail strobe light. Okay, so those are your lights here. We have the cabin lights. We're gonna put the red one on. And so you'll see this red light up here turn on. And we're gonna throw these two up to sync the sights. And that's it. We are ready to go. Let's go ahead and take off. All right, so the first thing you're going to do is turn off the uh, parking brakes, and then you're going to pull back on the stick and slightly right cyclic. And then you're going to slowly feed in collective with a little bit of right rudder. And I'm not great at this, but I'm slowly getting the hang of it. There we go. There we go. Nice and easy. And she just comes right off the ground for you. And then just tip the nose to get some speed. And you're off. Okay, so we can see Petrovich is still working on the weapon systems. It's yellow. Uh, when he's ready, he's going to let us know, and this yellow outline is going to turn into an amber color. Okay, so you see in the top right-hand corner, it says weapons ready. And if we click this, you see that the menu is an amber color, which tells us that all the weapon systems are ready to go. Okay, so we have the Petrovich menu up. 
and looks like we got some Russian artillery falling over here so we're gonna tell Petrovich to look in this general area I'm gonna tell him by pointing in that direction and pressing Petrovich up short and then he tells me to select which one I want Petrovich up down and when I'm ready it's Petrovich uh, right and we're gonna select that IFV then we're gonna line up the crosshairs that's the tone and then you're gonna tell Petrovich to fire rifle now the range on these missiles is supposed to be under ideal parameters about five kilometers but I wouldn't shoot them probably any more than three to four kilometers just to be safe all right now let's uh, aggressively come off target here Point him at the general area we want him to look. Give him a second to find his target. Line up the crosshairs. We're taking some fire here. Don't do that. Don't get too close to them, because uh, that happens. Okay, so finally we have a AAA site over here somewhere, I think. And we're going to see if Petrovich can spot them. We'll take out this last guy. And I think you guys get the point and how to do it at this point. So you should be able to go and do this on your own. Here we have uh, AAA. And hold on, we're going to go Petrovich up long. And that's going to say weapons free to him. And you see he fired without me authorizing it, technically. And there you go. He's dead. Alright, so it's that simple. The ATGMs with Petrovich are actually super simple. Alright guys, that's going to be it for me. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you found it helpful. Definitely check out The Hind. You can download it now and definitely check out the Cypress map. Alright, and big thank you to ED for their hard work on The Hind and the Cypress map. And I know they've got lots of other surprises in store. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.